This lesson will cover the following topics. The injectors. The injectors are supplied with fuel via the high pressure pipes coming from the injection rail. At the point of injection, the injector needle lifts to allow the fuel to flow towards the nozzle. The number and layout of the holes inside the nozzle vary depending on the system. The moving parts are lubricated by a very small amount of diesel fuel flowing towards the fuel return circuit. Caution: It is prohibited to dismantle an injector. Different types of injector exist. However, their operating principle remains the same. The injector is supplied with fuel under pressure. The fuel pressure at A and B is identical. The spring keeps the injector closed. The electromagnet is supplied. The electromagnet opens a discharge valve which allows the flow of fuel towards the fuel return circuit. The fuel pressure at A drops. The fuel pressure at B remains the same. The pressure imbalance pushes back the injector needle. The fuel is sprayed. The electromagnet is no longer supplied. The discharge valve closes. The fuel pressure at A increases and is balanced by the fuel pressure at B. The spring brings the needle back to the closed position. The injection phase is complete. There are two types of electromagnet control system. Some injectors use a piezoelectric actuator and not an electromagnet. However, the operation remains the same. Under the effect of the voltage, the piezoelectric component's volume increases. The discharge valve moves and creates a fuel leakage to the fuel return circuit. The piezoelectric component is discharged and returns to its initial volume. The discharge valve closes. On most systems, the injectors are supplied via the injection computer. However, there are systems where the injector supply is provided via a power unit. The injection computer sends a signal relating to the required injection phases. The power unit supplies the injectors. A diagnostic line allows the power unit to confirm the opening of the injectors to the computer. Owing to manufacturing variations, the injector flow specifications are not completely identical. This may lead to engine operating problems and an increase in pollutant emissions. Some injectors have a code called a calibration code. This code relates to the difference in flow compared to a reference injector. The calibration code must be stored in the injection computer using the diagnostic tool. The injection computer corrects the injector opening time in relation to the calibration codes. On some systems, the calibration code is replaced by an electrical resistor fitted to the injector connector. The computer reads the value of the resistance and applies the correction during the injection phase. This avoids having to carry out the after-sales write procedure using the diagnostic tool and allows the injectors to be switched. The injector fuel return circuit may be equipped with a venturi. The venturi is a component which assists in the injector return flow circuit. This component ensures that the injectors operate uniformly. In this section, we covered the following points. The injector is opened by controlling a discharge valve. There are two types of electromagnet control system. Some injectors use a piezoelectric actuator and not an electromagnet. The injection computer supplies the injectors directly or via a power unit. The calibration code must be stored in the injection computer using the diagnostic tool. On some systems, the calibration code is replaced by an electrical resistor fitted to the injector connector. The venturi is a component which assists in the injector return flow circuit.